The trend globally is that people are moving into cities, whether it's to cities in your own country or cities across the globe. And because of the technologies in structure, those skylines are actually going to change dramatically also. People are attracted to the main city because you have better work in these cities and uh, you have um, the, this main challenge of combining many people working in the same place. To me it's very interesting because technology would actually allow us to work anywhere we want, but people really want to be together to work and a tall building can offer that concentration of activities and workplace and people that a smaller building can't. 22 Bishop's Gate is designed to be the tallest building in the cluster of skyscrapers in the City of London. So when we looked at designing 22 Bishop's Gate, we were designing very much with the urban pressures as well as the workplace pressures that more people bring. It is a gigantic tower, 120,000 square meters. It will be the home of 12,000 workers every day. So you can imagine that to have the right elevator solution is critical for such a building. We have obviously thousands and thousands of tons of equipment that has to be delivered and installed in the shafts. There are more than 1,100 men, women and engineers working. To move them around the building can take hours. It is very challenging building a tall building, everything is big and complicated from the structure to the plant servicing. A key thing with choosing Otis to deliver the lifts is their sky build lift installation system. This is a milestone project for Otis and also worldwide. The sky build is a unique technology that allows us uh, to use a final elevator as a fill tool. And this fill tool will jump from floor to floor uh, without the need of a crane. What we call a safe climbing elevator, following the progress of the building, is crucial for, well, for the job site because it's a part fully integrated of the job site logistics. The building like that, we, we're facing many challenges every day, so they have to reinvent things, think out of the box. These are the first installations of the SkyBuild in the UK. We have different platforms. Two of these platforms are basically locked into the building with a pool device. So the piston with the other platforms will push up and then we lock the platform above into the building. The platform below will unlock from the building and the same piston, because it's a push-pull piston, will then pull it up. It means we can jump up the building giving the use of the lift to the GC throughout the day. The simplest way to explain it is like a caterpillar. It follows the pace of the building, so we're gaining floors as our building is coming up. So we are totally independent in the shaft and we can jump within only four hours. So it's allowing us a fantastic flexibility and that's uh, uh, definitely a differentiator. Normally on a project like this, you would have 20 weeks from when you receive the machine room slab to complete the elevator. You could take up to seven, eight, nine weeks just completing the machine room. But with the sky build, obviously when you get to the top, you remove what's not required, lock it into the building, it's finished. 80% of the equipment we install as a jump lift will stay for the final lift installation. We started to see the needs when towers were constructed to have beneficial use elevator early in the project. The sky build uh, will allow more than three or four times the speed of a, of a typical hoist. All the high-rise cities are interested in moving and changing the logistic pattern of how they move people and materials in the high-rise and do it safer and more efficiently. London changed dramatically uh, in the past 10 years. I think it's one of the cities in Europe that has the most uh, uh, dramatic uh, change in its skyline. To walk past this in 10, 15, 20 years and see that I have been a part of this is just an amazing feeling. It's been a massive benefit, you know, and saved a lot, a lot of time. So, you know, it's been very good. It's also exciting building a skyline that says London is active. We welcome people to come here and work, to learn, to have fun, um, and hopefully 22 Bishopsgate will be part of that message.